Our storm spotter Cody Hudson, and uh, there you see the tornado still on the ground. So this is an intense storm, a lead hill, a little bit of a stovepipe appearance to the tornado. And, and, you know, it's moving about 30, 35 miles an hour, so Cody has to keep track in this. He was one of the first ones that called in and told us, hey, we've got a tornado that's on the ground. And we passed along that weather service uh, information to the Little Rock National Weather Service on NWS chat. And then they were able to put out that tornado warning. So that's how the warning process works. This is why storm spotters are so valuable. They're so important to the warning process. And so we're going to see the very latest on this. This storm is quite a ways away from the radar, not only both in Fort Smith, but also the Little Rock radar. So we've got a little bit of a radar hole located over Boone County. But we've got that storm that's coming into Proctor that's getting pretty intense as well. And that also has a tornado warning and possibly even uh, coming close to uh, producing a tornado. So there's that, there's that storm. Yeah, so we've got... Uh, yeah, there you can see the stovepipe tornado right there looking off in the distance. Clear evidence shot of it. Strong rotation with that thunderstorm. So let's go ahead and we'll bring up our, uh, our weather coverage on Mega Doppler. Let's go to Weather 2 if we can. So here's a look at Weather 2, and we've got Mega Doppler pulled up on the radar. And there's the strong circulation that went right over Proctor. I want to see if there's any type of debris. There's no debris associated with this storm that I'm seeing yet. We might have to load up another uh, different radar source. Here's the other storm that's popping up southwest of Westville that will be getting pretty intense as well. So we're going to have to watch that. Uh, but there's the circulation that has really increased quite a bit. So this storm is about to produce a tornado, if it hasn't already, in Proctor. Tornado warning until 4 o'clock. Uh, this is a pretty intense thunderstorm. So what this is doing, by the way, just to let you know, uh, let me step in front of the wall here and we'll show you what's going on. And remember, we can pop back and forth from weather 1 to weather 2. We still have that tornado on the ground. Let's bring that back up real fast if we can. And, and Charles, if we can do a split screen and get a two box, there's the tornado that's rotating. Oh boy, you can see the inflow tail. This is the inflow going into the storm. Here's the circulation. Strong tornado that was uh, earlier reported. In fact, you can see that. Now he's finally standing still, so we get a good look at this. Uh, but um, that was uh, that, that's a pretty incredible storm that ramped up and that developed really quickly. So it doesn't look like the tornado is touching the ground anymore. Let's go back to weather two. We'll bring up the radar for this storm that's tornado warned that's beginning to move into Adair County. So it's just crossed the uh, Cherokee Adair County line. There's the circulation literally just east of Proctor. And what's happening is the radar is able to detect all these greens and reds. And now we've got a rapidly developing circulation with strong low level rotation. This is moving into a very similar area, almost, almost taking the exact track as the storm on November 30th of last year. A very similar track where it hit Proctor, continued northeast, went all the way into northeastern Adair County, and then died out as it turned north just west of Siloam Springs. We're going to put this into motion. We're going to see if this continues to track northeast. But we are streaming our weather coverage. Charles, if you can hear me in the control room, uh, I think we're streaming our weather coverage. We're on Facebook Live. We're, we're also, okay, we're doing all that stuff. So all of the ways that you need to keep up with the information. So if, if this storm starts approaching Siloam Springs and uh, Watts and several other areas and you aren't able to watch your TV or you lose signal, you can get our stream by going to NWA Weather Authority app. You can scroll all the way down and get the live stream, more, uh, live stream from our weather coverage. You can also go to the KNWA app and you can also go to NWA homepage. We also have closed captioning available uh, so you can see exactly what the storm is doing uh, for the hearing impaired. This is a very intense thunderstorm and remember we have three tornado warnings that are currently in progress. Uh, one that's confirmed, we saw that, that's moving out, so I'm not going to be covering that anymore as that moves out of our weather coverage area, and that was already on the extreme northeastern fringe of our weather coverage area, but that is moving into Marion County, so Little Rock Television and Springfield Television will be covering that. Then we got this storm that is very intense in northeastern sections of McDonald County. This is a radar indicated tornado with golf ball hail potential as well. Now we're looking at this storm.
storm from a radar in Fort Smith, so it's a little bit uh, not not quite as uh, impressive of a signature as it would be if we were looking at it from Springfield. Now, as we take a look at this storm, we'll see if there's any type of debris associated with the storm. Don't see that yet, but a strong circulation that continues to increase in intensity. So these